So it's one out, runner on first, and the count is 0-0. Now Lindor hops off the bag as if he's gonna steal third base, but he stops. Vogelbach sees him clearly and just lets the pitch go. It's a fastball right down the middle, and Vogelbach is upset. He is upset. He's like, I could have crushed that pitch. It's exactly where I wanted it. And now Lindor is yelling at the trailing runner like, no, no, stop, I'm not going, but it's too late. Now the catcher hops up, sees the trailing runner going to second base. And as you can see, Vogelbach is completely upset. He's like, we suck so badly as a team. <laughs> And for some odd reason, the catcher throws to first base. Do you believe that? He throws to first base. Now, what he should have done is walk out to second base or jog out to second base to stop both runners. And that would allow him to tag one or the other and end it this entire play. But nope. He didn't. He decides to throw to first base, which is behind the runners, and that baffles me and the announcers. Just listen to what the announcers say. Oh. Lindor started to run, stops it. The throw. Lindor then puts on the Jets as he's throwing the first base. The catcher then realizes that he messed up, and then the first baseman catches his baseball and Crow hops like he's Eric Burns. And now the pitcher decides to go to third base because he wanted to back up the third baseman just in case there was a rundown. Vogelbach at this time is still upset. Look at him. <laughs> He's still thinking about that pitch that's right down the middle that he could have absolutely crushed with runners on base. This reminds me of a quick story of Albert Pujols. He was up at the plate. A young rookie player jumps off the bag just like Lindor. He takes the pitch, but the runner didn't steal, and it was a fastball down the middle. That next inning, Pujols goes to him and says, you messing with my money. Don't ever do that again while I'm up at the plate. They pay me to drive guys in. And I feel that's the same thing that's happening with Vogelbach. He's thinking that in his head. I could have made me some money today by driving these guys in. So now the ball hits the pitcher on the side of the head and it deflects towards the dugout. The crowd is going absolutely crazy and Lindor runs home. McNeil advances to third and the pitcher is now on the ground in pain. Now let's go back to the pitcher. He's running to third base. He gets hit. He doesn't feel it because his adrenaline is just pumping like no other. And then finally it hits him and he goes down in pain. I can't imagine how much pain he felt when it all settled in. With that being said, do me a favor, comment below. Let's all send prayers to his baseball brother and hopefully he's doing well. Thank you guys.